voices in a way, or you can say, oh, this reminds me of that kid I saw on the bus the other day. And maybe he's kind of talking like this, and he's got a thing that's because he was talking like that. And you can start working on stuff like that. That's why sometimes it's good to unplug and uh, not have your Walkman, or your Walkman. Oh my gosh, what period am I in? <laughs> Oh, not have your iPod on and um, your MP3 player, um, so that you <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I more still to buy. Go after the cassette. That, the cassette. I only have cassettes. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we don't have a TV. We just go to the drive-in. Right, right. um, but if you, uh, <laughs> um, so you can hear conversations even as you're walking around today. You may hear a million different languages being spoken. So you can start to pick up on what it is that um, makes that accent different from yours, and you start to incorporate that and practice it a little bit at home, um, or right then. <laughs> uh, and then also, I think when you've got animals to voice, obviously uh, a snake, I think because of the tongue, has that kind of hissy thing, you know, so you can work on differing your pace. But if you allow yourself to take the time to find those things, you can incorporate someone with something this slow into, so how many evil characters do you know talk like this? And they're very regal and menacing because they're not hurried by anyone. The rest of us are talking like this and we're running around, but we're panicked. Someone who's evil takes all the time in the world. They're all usually so calm. So then you can put a twist on that and make them kind of neurotic and crazy. So you can think through um, using your imagination, using uh, people that you see around you to inform how you may make your choices and what you do. Um, okay, yeah, so... That's important, yeah. Definitely. Should we... I guess, yeah, now let's just ask, huh? So we're going to pick about five yes. people.